Hello everybody, uh, I hope you're well. Um, in this video, I'm going to uh, talk a little bit about why, how you might want to use video uh, in delivering your distance teaching. Um, I'm going to show you how to simply uh, record yourself on video uh, and how to upload that onto YouTube. Um, so first of all, uh, why might you want to use video in your um, distance teaching? Well, um, it's uh, the, the pupils miss you. Um, I've got a lot of feedback from pupils saying that they miss how uh, you as their teacher explain things to them. Um, they miss seeing your face. So um, video is a really uh, powerful way to um, connect again with your pupils to help their, their mental well-being. So even a, a short uh, five minute video of your face um, can can bridge many, many bridges. Um, so you might want to use a, a quick five minute video of yourself uh, at, the, at the start of a lesson, just saying hello to your pupils, uh, explaining what the main learning objectives are uh, for that lesson um, before directing them to the tasks on Show My Homework. Um, alternatively, uh, you might want to use video at certain points in the uh, lesson that you set uh, to explain tricky concepts. Uh, so if there's a particularly difficult part of maths, for example, um, pupils would much prefer to hear you as their teacher explain it than to hear some uh, some teacher in this in America, for example, um, on one of the YouTube uh, videos that you might might alternatively use. Um, another way that you could use video um, is, is, is more of a longer form method. So you could actually use video as if you were teaching a class. So you could uh, introduce the lesson, uh, give them a task to do, explain a task, and then ask the pupils to pause the video whilst they complete that task before um, going on uh, to explain another piece of the lesson and then ask them to pause it whilst they complete the next task and, and so on. So you could use video to, to create the whole of your, your lesson content if needed. So. Uh, so quite a few ways that you can use it as a teacher and of course as a tutor, uh, it could be a really powerful way to to um, communicate with your tutor group um, and to, to build those bridges as well. Um, some teachers uh, have also used video to provide feedback as well to their pupils. So after pupils have uh, submitted some work, uh, again, it's a really uh, powerful way to give some, some whole class feedback and maybe share um, some best, best practice. Um, so this is why I think it's really important that we uh, we try and in, uh, incorporate more and more video uh, into our into our distance teaching. OK, so uh, I'm going to explain to you now how to really um, simply um, record uh, a video of yourself uh, and how to upload it onto YouTube. But before we get onto the technical side of it, some of you might be thinking, yes, I'm, I'm glad you're going to show me this, John, because I, I, I haven't been able to do video, video lessons before. Um, is the reason that you haven't done video lessons the technical side or are you actually incredibly camera shy um, and are terrified of videoing yourself? Now, this is very understandable and something which I think the majority uh, of people feel. Um, but I just want to, to reassure you um, that your, your pupils uh, have seen you at your worst day in, day out at school. So they've seen you uh, on a wet Wednesday afternoon after you've had a, a bit of a difficult lunch time in the corridors and, and they've seen you a bit grumpy in the afternoon. They've, they've seen you on a Friday morning when you've had a bit too much Cabernet Sauvignon at the pub quiz the night before. You know, they, they have seen you at your worst. They've seen you at your beautiful best, of course, as well, but they've seen you at your worst. So if uh, if you produce a video that in which you might not look as, as beautiful as you usually do, in which you might make mistakes and stutter and not do and it doesn't work out that's fine your pupils will just think oh there's Mr Stanya being Mr Stanya again um and, and actually think nothing of it so so be brave uh, I think uh, I don't mean to say that too harsh but get over yourself uh and and uh, make a video of yourself and you'll see that is actually quite straightforward um, I recommend that you'd actually start with with small steps as well so um identify one lesson for one class in the coming week and think right that's the lesson i'm going to produce just a short five minute maybe introduction to the lesson two um and and, and then take it from there and see how that goes and then try to incorporate into more and more um of your of your uh distance teaching okay right on to the technical side of it so 
Uh, I'm just going to disappear for a second, and you're going to see my um, you're going to see my desktop on my computer. There we are. Um, and uh, so so you all have Windows or installed onto your school laptops. Um, and down the bottom left hand corner here, we have the star icon. And if you press that, uh, then you have the different programs. And under C for camera, you'll find the uh, camera app. And so if you click on that, then the camera will be, oh, look, here I am again. Uh, then the camera will appear. Um, now, um, as you can see, uh, this is a very professional shot of me in this camera. Um, and, and, and it's quite important that you, you try and set this up properly. So um, I have got the window in front of me. It's not behind me. I'm sure you've seen, maybe some of you have been in a video conference, especially with Mrs. Rollick, uh, where she sits in front of a window and all you get is a, a dark silhouette um, speaking to you. So make sure you don't sit in front of a window, that the window is in front of you, giving you the light. Uh, try and frame the shot properly as well. So uh, as you can see, the, the bottom of the camera is, is just under my armpits uh, and the and the top of the shot is just above my head, um, so I'm not I'm not slumped down here. It's not a little me. Um, I'm nice and nice and big in the shot there. I'm not, I'm not like that either. Um, so it's nice well framed. I've also um, got my laptop on a pile of books as well. So this is to stop um, that the, the, this kind of up the nose shots you get. You know, I didn't have to trim my nasal hair this morning. Um, uh, and it means that my, my chin doesn't look look huge. I don't look like Jimmy Hill. Um, so so try try and frame the shot properly. So so anyway, that was a little aside. So here we have the camera um, the camera icon. Now all you need to do is set yourself up like this. Think about what you're going to say. Um, if you are going to say quite a lot of detailed uh, explanation and you're worried that you might forget what you want to say. Um, what, uh, what I found helps is, is if I get a, another device, maybe an iPad or a laptop, and put it just off screen and make my own little PowerPoint presentation with, with, with key points that I want to cover. And, and so I kind of read through that just off screen there. So a little tip to help you there. Um, and so, and so you, you, you just talk, you, know, you say hello to your, your pupils and you explain what you need to explain. Um, and so, so when, you, when you're ready to do that, all you need to do is click the camera button and it will record. So, um, so this is currently being recorded um, onto my hard drive. Uh, so I'll just, just teach, 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 teach. There we are. Uh, and I'm going to, when I've finished talking, uh, I press stop. And there we are. I, I have made a video. Um, if you need to find that video, where it should be, um, and this might be dif different depending on the setup of your laptop, but where it should be is in pictures and then in camera roll. And there we are. There's the video. And it's as simple as that um, to make a video, uh, very high quality um, and very professional. So now we go to the second stage of what to do. So I'll, I'll, I'll get my uh, I'll get my face back up. There we are. Uh, I'll, I'll minimise this down here now. There we go. So um, the second stage. Then, so we have our video. So so how do we share that with our pupils? Um, because the file size is going to be far too big just to put it on to show my homework. So um, you need to put your video onto an online platform uh, in order to create a link for the pupils to see it. So the easiest way to do this is to put it onto YouTube. Uh, and it is very easy and straightforward to uh, create your own YouTube channel. Um, so if we look here, so if you, if you Google uh, YouTube, um, then you will get the um, YouTube welcome page up here. And in the top right hand corner there, uh, you'll have a little sign in uh, button. So if you click that sign in button, uh, then um, it will ask you to, um, to create your own account. 
um, which is very straightforward to do. Um, if you have a Gmail um, account or if you already have a Google account, then because YouTube is owned by Google, then, um, then it will automatically recognize you. Um, there is a, a slight problem with some people in the school who uh, taught the LBAC and were created a school Google account to use the shared school Google Drive. Um, in the, the, uh, the, there's a bit of conflict there and please get in contact with Ben and Jake to uh, to resolve that. But um, if you've got a different email address, uh, so if you've got a Gmail account, for example, then um, then it's easy to, to use that just to create your own YouTube account. So once you've created your own YouTube account, uh, then up in the right hand corner, um, there'll be a little photograph of you if you include that on your account details, or there'll just be a, an outlined face. Uh, if you click on that, then it will come down the drop down menu and it will say create a channel. Uh, so this creates your own uh, platform for, for sharing videos. And then if you click create a channel, you will be uh, presented with uh, various menus to go through um, to you know make make your channel uh, page look like you want it to um, various uh, profile options you can use I'll, I'll let you just um, uh, browse those as you see fit and then when you when you get through all of that it will then ask you to upload a video to get started and then all you need to do is click the upload video button there um, and then you upload the video. Um, when you do this, when you do this process, and I'll, I'll show you this again in a second, um, you can name the video, you can set the privacy settings. Um, but essentially, once you've uploaded the video onto YouTube, then you have then the ability to share it. So if you click on the share um, icon that's highlighted there then it will give you a, um, a URL, a, a web address, uh, which you can then cut and paste into show my homework or into uh, an email to share with pupils to direct them um, towards your, uh, your YouTube clip. So it's quite, it's quite a, a straightforward process um, of setting up your own uh, your own YouTube uh, your own YouTube channel. I'll just go through um, the, that process um, again of, of uploading your video. Um, I have to show it in PowerPoint because of, of conflict. So um, so I'll just uh, go onto my channel here. Uh, so if I if I oh sorry, well what I need to do is if if once you have your own channel set up, if you see this this um, uh, video icon up here where it says create if you click on that and then you upload a video and then you'll see here uh, drag and drop or select the file so um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the file and if we remember it was in pictures camera roll uh, so double click on camera roll and then this is the video that we want uh, that I've just made so if we click open and there you see uh, it's now uploading so then I can I can give it a title so uh, I will say example video there and then I can write a description as well so uh, a quick example of how to video yourself um, and then already even before it's uploaded I, it produces the link which uh, I can immediately put in show my homework um, I need to um, ensure uh, click because I haven't made it for small children um, I'm going to click no it's not made for kids but uh, pupils can still um, access this um, and you can, uh, once it's uploaded, add kind of uh, title cards, so um, introductions and, and, and endings. But 
that's the technical side of things, which will let you explore yourself. Um, you also here get asked if you want it to be private or, or public or unlisted. So, so if it's private, then that means that only people who have the link can see it. So it won't come up in any searches. Nobody can see it unless they have that link. If it's unlisted, it means that it won't come up in any searches. Um, but uh, it is, it's slightly uh, easier to find than if you just click private. So unlisted means it doesn't come up in any searches, it doesn't um, appear on any suggested videos or anything. If it's public, it's just open to anybody. Um, so if I make this one as private, again, the link's in the bottom right-hand corner there, and then I can save it. And there we are. It is as simple as that. And then I can click on uh, the video there and it gives me the details and then if I wanted to share that with the class then I would uh, just there's my video playing here and I just say share and uh, copy I can copy uh, the uh, the URL there and so if I wanted to go into uh, show my homework and set some homework there, uh, create some homework. Then I wanted to insert a link. I just paste in that address there and uh, I could put in a very exciting video to watch. It, uh, open a new tab so they don't, if you don't want the uh, homework to go completely go missing. And there it is. And if the pupils click that link, it will it will um, show the video again. And there we are. Um, that so that is a very uh, simple guide to how to uh, just capture some video of yourself and how to create your own YouTube channel and how to upload it uh, onto YouTube um, and how to uh, make sure it's private if you're worried about um, people in the, in the wider world seeing your creations. Uh, so I hope that helps. Um, uh, experiment, have fun with it. Um, I know that your pupils will really appreciate the effort that you put into it. Um, please, please get in contact with me. Uh, if you have any questions uh, uh, and queries at all about this um, and uh, and good luck. <laughs>